Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met with the Supreme Council member and ruler of Ajman, Sheikh Hamid bin Rashid Al Nuaimi, in the presence of Ajman's Crown Prince, Sheikh Ammar bin Hamad Al Nuaimi. His Majesty praised the relations between Bahrain and the UAE and the cooperation on all levels and in all fields that benefit both countries and peoples. The ruler of Ajman welcomed the visit of His Majesty the King, who was accompanied by the personal representative of His Majesty the King for charity work and youth affairs, President of the Supreme Council. Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The meeting included discussions on bilateral relations and the keenness of both countries to further bolster these relations in order to achieve both countries' future aspirations. After that poet, Saeed Khalfan al kabi delivered a poem on the occasion of His Majesty's visit. The ruler of Ajman then held a lunch in honor of His Majesty the King. At the end of the visit, the ruler of Ajman handed His Majesty a commemorative gift on the occasion of his visit. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the Cypriot Minister of Foreign Affairs Nikos Christodoulidis at Kolobia Palace. During the meeting, the Deputy King and the Cypriot Minister of Foreign Affairs discussed Bahrain-Cyprus bilateral relations, including mechanisms to enhance cooperation in different areas. The Cypriot Minister of Foreign Affairs conveyed the greetings of the President of Cyprus to the Deputy King, who in return extended his best wishes to the President. The meeting also provided an opportunity to review a number of of regional and international affairs of common interest. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday held his weekly majlis at Rifa'a Palace. Members of the royal family, senior government officials, members of the Shura Council and Council of Representatives, members of municipal councils, religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats attended the majlis. His Royal Highness welcomed the broad range of visitors at the weekly majlis, which demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to rooted traditions and values that are underpinned by His Majesty's aspirations to maintain a strong bond amongst Bahrain society. The Majlis visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the Majlis and emphasized the important role His Royal Highness plays in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at his palace in Rifa'a a number of representatives with whom he discussed a number of local and national issues and listened to their remarks about the needs of the citizens and their aspirations regarding service and development projects. He asserted that the cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities is a firm principle and that their partnership is being strengthened. He noted that the government spares no effort and harnesses all available potentials and resources to make the citizens feel that their security is preserved and their stability is ensured. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed sincere appreciation to the members of the Council of Representatives for their keenness to assume their national responsibilities within their effective partnership with the government, which has contributed to achieving the expectations of the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness Premier underlined the government's continuous efforts to implement modernization and development projects across various regions to ensure the citizens' access to sufficient quality services. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that the meeting of the citizens, meeting their needs and requirements provides the requirements of decent living for them is a government priority. He pointed out that the consolidation of cooperation with the legislative authority is a key element in the government strategy to achieve its goals of serving Bahrain and its citizens. Members of the Representatives Council lauded His Royal Highness Premier's open door policy, which is his authentic approach in communicating with the people and their representatives. Lawmakers expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his unwavering interest in and support of strengthening executive legislative cooperation. They hailed the Prime Minister's directives to ministers and officials to strengthen the pillars of cooperation with the legislative authority. The personal representative of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressed that Bahrain would continue bringing achievements at local, regional and global levels to maintain its prestigious international standing thanks to the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah said the Kingdom's winning the post of the United Nations Environment Assembly's Deputy Executive Director, representative of the Asia Pacific Group, is an important achievement that reflects its interest in environmental issues at the local and international levels. He noted that Bahrain would play its role in promoting global environment efforts. He said that this is another achievement that adds to Bahrain international successes made in various fields. He added Bahrain would participate in the UNEA regular meetings to discuss international environment projects, budgets and other environment related issues. The Kingdom of Bahrain has won the Deputy Executive Director's post in the UNEA elections that took place in Nairobi, Kenya for the period 2019-2021. Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Isa bin Salman Educational Charity, Waqf Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the efforts of the Bahrain Basketball Association, led by Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, and hailed the performance level in the national clubs, which reflect the fierce competition on the local and international levels. He expressed pleasure in attending the Maharraq and Rufa match and hailed the performance of the players of both teams, and also hailed the role of the fans, which reflects the importance of the sport.
He wished the association further success. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met yesterday with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Cyprus, Nikos Christodoulis, who is currently visiting the Kingdom of Bahrain. The minister hailed the distinguished relations of friendship between Bahrain and Cyprus, affirming the Kingdom's keenness to further develop joint coordination between the two countries to achieve their common interest. The minister also stressed the importance of exchanging visits between the officials of both countries in order to reinforce joint cooperation and coordination at various levels. The Minister of Cyprus affirmed his country's keenness to enhance bilateral cooperation with Bahrain in all fields, wishing the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and his Cypriot counterpart signed a Memorandum of Understanding on cooperation in the field of energy. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali al Nuaimi, attended the informative seminar organized by the UNESCO on the sidelines of the award ceremony of the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa Prize for the Use of Information and Communication Technologies in Education, held in Paris. The winners of the award's 10th session discussed the winning projects in the presence of the International Judging Committee, a number of diplomats, specialists, and media figures. The head of the Judging Committee, Prof. Daniel Bargus, noted the importance of the award and its role in encouraging advanced technologies to serve education in the world. He also hailed the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the award. The award winners hailed His Majesty the King for this outstanding educational initiative. They also gave a briefing on the winning projects. The attendees hailed the projects and their role in spreading education to those in need, which are in line with the objectives of UNESCO in providing education for all. Within the framework of the implementation program of His Royal Highness the Deputy King and directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister during the Cabinet meeting held last Monday on the delivery of East Head units to the beneficiaries immediately, the Ministry of Housing began to distribute contracts to the beneficiaries of the first phase of the project. The Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yaqub al Hamar, hailed the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister regarding the immediate delivery of the units to citizens, stressing that this directive is a realistic translation of the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness to the latest developments in housing services projects and needs. The minister stated that the delivery of housing contracts come only a few days before the end of the electronic withdrawal procedures for the beneficiaries of the units, which stems from the ministry's keenness on competing with the timetable of distributing 5,000 housing units upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Mahi bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, headed Bahrain's delegation participating in the opening of the Riyadh International Book Fair, held under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia. Sheikh Mahi expressed appreciation for the selection of Bahrain as the guest of honor at the Riyadh International Book Fair this year, hailing the role of the Ministry of Culture and Information in promoting local and regional culture. She affirmed that the two kingdom's authentic historical and cultural elements, as well as the deep-rooted and well-established fraternal relations, noting the importance of continuing cultural exchange and cooperation between the two brotherly countries. Sheikh Hamai stated that the Culture Authority will reflect through its program the richness of the culture of Bahrain through many activities that provide distinguished cultural personalities and artists who highlight different aspects of the current scene in Bahrain.